All right, the day is here. Everybody and their mama's been sending me this, telling me to check it out. Adam Calhoun, Shook Ones Remix. And hey, Cal, if you want that Shook Ones beat, you got to come with it. Everybody's been telling me he's in his bag on this one and he gets busy. So we're going to find out. You know, that Shook Ones, that is what I think is the best hip-hop beat of all time. That's, I, that's the greatest hip-hop beat ever. And it's also one of the most recognized. Now, a lot of you will probably recognize it from the ending rap battles in 8 Mile. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Because 8 Mile definitely helped Shook One's beat reach um, a different audience, maybe. Maybe people who only listen to M heard it from there. But before it was in 8 Mile, we're talking Mob Deep. You gotta put some respect on Mob Deep. Havoc, R.I.P. Prodigy. The best beat ever. <laughs> so I'm excited because this is the first solo music that I've checked out from Adam Calhoun. I've been looking for something to get into. And y'all been sending me this like crazy. The last time I heard Adam Calhoun was on that American Flags track with Tom McDonald. And now here we are. So we'll see what Adam's talking about in this one. And I know there's a lot of drama between him and Up Church and the whole Tom McDonald situation. We ain't here for that. We're not here for that. I had some requests to kind of dig into the beef a little bit and make a, make a video about it. I decided against it because that's between Adam and Upchurch. Ain't none of my business. That's for them to work it out and decide as Ben how they want to handle it. Now, if they want to put it on wax and they, they, want to, they want to make some diss tracks, I'll check them out. I'm here for that. We're here for the bars, baby. I'll, I'll check out the tracks and I'll tell you if they whack or not. But regardless, I'm here for this right now, Adam Calhoun shook ones. We're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. All right, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm pretty fucking hyped up right now. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate you spending this time and hanging out with your boy Snake Venom S to the V. Don't forget it. Now, hope that your day is going well because it might just get a lot better with Adam Calhoun shook ones remix re 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 remix. Let's go, Adam. Keep the subliminals to minimal when you belittle me Say my name in the disc, be a man, die with dignity I picked up the pen again so you can start hating Ooh, everything I- Nah, 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 hold up, Adam Hold up, you coming out the gate like that Who pissed him off? Who pissed him off? Who's talking about Adam but not really saying his name? Keep the subliminals to minimal when you belittle me Be a man, say my name Come on, who's out here talking trash? Nah, out here sneak this and Adam ain't with all that You saw, he was ready to go to war You saw that bullet hole in the glass like, look, you want to fire shots at me. Here's a return to sender, playboy. And he got his hat backwards. I'm, I'm going to have to turn my hat backwards. Hold up. My man got his hat backwards like Ash Ketchum and Pokemon. So you know it's real. Let's go, a cow. Keep the subliminals to minimal when you belittle me. Say my name in the disc. Be a man, die with dignity. I picked up the pen again so you can start hating. Everything I drop does numbers. Smart Asian, albums chart high as fuck. Part Jamaican, dope ass white boy. Stand in ovation. Rapper suck dick. Dope ass white boy. That Rastafarian. Albums chart high as fuck. So everything he drops does numbers. Smart Asians. And the cliche is that. Asians are good with numbers, and, you know, that's the stereotype. Asians are good at math, and I got some Asian friends who, they're all good at math. So, <laughs> hey, but he, he also does numbers. He's topping the charts, and they're high as fuck. Part Jamaican, because his numbers are high, but also if you get off a plane in Jamaica, you might catch a contact just getting off the plane. <laughs> all right. As fuck, part Jamaican, don't fast white boy, stand in ovation. Rappers suck dick, you think they trying to put their throat on Do everything to make it, except write a dope song A fly press Ooh, nah, he ain't lying though, he ain't wrong <laughs> I'll be hearing a lot of rappers these days I'm like, where did you come from? Who signed you? How did you get signed? And all these rappers, he's telling you like, y'all suck dick Your music sucks dick, and you suck dick You know <laughs> They be putting their throat on, like they be 
put their throat on the track, but that's trash because it sucks. And you be putting your throat on, so you, you be giving a little sloppy toppy, you know, you be the, you be sucking for real. <laughs> hey, from what I hear, you got to give head to get ahead. And apparently some of them are. Fuck, part you making, throw fast, white boy, stand in ovation. Rappers suck dick, you think they trying to put their throat on. Do everything to make it, except write a dope song. I'm fly pressure, he ain't breathing, need a CPAP. My beard's so long, it's hanging out the ski mask. I wish mm. Eminem would be- Ooh, my man got the ski mask on. Adam ready to hit a lick. He said, they gonna identify me by my beard. <laughs> Adam, you gonna have to tuck that beard in, homie. You're gonna have to rob the place like this. You're gonna have to get on that Mike Beltron routine. If y'all don't know who Mike Beltron is, he's a UFC referee and he got a long ass beard. If you may have seen him if you watched uh, the follow up series to Sons of Anarchy called The Mayans, he's in that a few times. But if you don't know who he is, Mike Beltron, UFC referee, and he. When he refs fights, he, he has this long beard that he tucks down his shirt. I'm pretty sure he tucks it in his waistline, too, because it's long as hell. But, oh, and, and I'm applying pressure. He got him in that rear naked choke. So he's choking him out, suffocating him. He got he hitting him with the with the rear naked choke, but they also be choking when and they be having trouble going to sleep at night. They need that CPAP, and I know a lot of people that have the CPAP. And they also be, they be choking because they get, they doing a little, <laughs> they be slobbering on the diddly dog. <laughs> Think they trying to put their throat on, do everything to make it, except write a dope song. I fly pressure, he ain't breathing, need a CPAP. My beard's so long, it's hanging out the ski mask. I wish Eminem would be back. He used to be dope, like a weed bag. Take a Xanax and have a relapse, I lose myself. Mm, oh, that's a nasty Eminem scheme. Okay. I wish Eminem would be back. He used to be dope like a weed bag. So he hit that dime bag. You know, he got some dope on you. But Eminem used to be dope as in his music used to be dope. A lot of people say that, you know, they want him to go back to the old Slim Shady. They be like, I don't like the new Eminem. Go back to being Slim Shady. I liked you better when you were on drugs. And he, he raps about that nowadays. But he's saying, take a Xanax, have a relapse. He wants him to relapse, as in doing drugs, you relapse. But he, he wants him to relapse and go back to his old ways, his old music. And Eminem has an album called Relapse. So that's a triple right there, baby. That was a nice Eminem scheme. Now, a lot of people want Slim Shady back. I, I find different things to appreciate about M's music, no matter what era it is. You know, I like his new stuff, I like his old stuff, but I appreciate it for different reasons. And Eminem's in his 50s. You know, this isn't when he's in his 20s. <laughs> so as you grow and you get older, your outlook on things change, but don't get it twisted, don't get it fucked up. M still got that dog in him. He just lets it out from time to time to use the bathroom to take a piss on some people. You think they trying to put their throat on Do everything to make it Except write a dope song I fly pressure He ain't breathing Need a CPAP My beard's so long It's hanging out the ski mask I wish Eminem would be back He used to be dope Like a weed bag Take a Xanax And have a relapse I lose myself in the beat Flipping through my CDs Big and eyes They was always on repeat Now Lil mm, Nas Yeah respect right there That old school hip hop Hold up I like that shout out But take a Take a Xanax Take one of them pills I'll take a couple of Uppers, I down a couple downers, but nothing compares to these blue and yellow purple pills. He continued the Eminem scheme with I lose myself in the beat. Lose yourself in the music the moment you want. So lose yourself, Eminem. But he's losing himself in the music as well because he got that big and Nas on repeat spinning. See, I could tell, I just get this feeling that Adam is a huge hip hop head and I got mad respect for that. Shout out to OGs. And I would imagine in rotation, he probably got Big L, some Wu-Tang, Rock Kim in there. I like that. When the beat flipping through my CDs, Big and Nas, they was always on repeat. Now Lil Nas X sucking dick on the TV and kids watching that shit freely and you... He's not wrong. I mean... <laughs> He was telling you earlier, them rappers be out here putting their throat on some stuff, and now he naming someone else that does that too. Self in the beat, flipping through my CDs. Big and Nas, they was always on repeat. Now Lil Nas X sucking dick on the TV, and kids watching that shit freely. And you think this that eight mile 
y'all beat this that mob deep black jungle concrete beef handled on street yeah. freestyle can let's go before i even pressed play see same wavelength that's that's true some people are gonna be like yo this that eight mile beat but this ain't that eight mile beat this was the beat that was used in eight mile but this that mob deep beat and see, you know, I hope that some people who didn't know who Mob Deep was heard this beat and they went back and got themselves acquainted. And they probably even heard Mob Deep when they were on the G Unit record label and didn't know that the Shook Ones beat used in 8 Mile was Mob Deep. They probably just thought, oh yeah, it was nice of 50 Cent and G Unit to put these, these Mob Deep guys on the track. <laughs> You gotta get yourself acquainted with hip hop history, baby. Mile beat, this that mob deep black jungle concrete. Mm, you see that bobbing and weaving? He's practicing that head movement. Like in the gym, you be using that slack line, bobbing and weaving. He's ready to bop, bop. He's ready to box him up. He said, hop on the track one time, let me piece you up. Or you throw up the water bag, you know, you be ducking under that. Let's go. Really? And you think this that eight mile beat, this that mob deep black jungle concrete beat handled on street freestyle came from your dome piece, and I was out there chasing dreams with my homies. PTSD from Whoa, talk to him, Adam. Talking about that real freestyle. Hold up. You want to handle that beef on the street? It's coming off the top of your dome piece because you could you could get something placed in your dome piece, or the freestyle is coming right off the top of the dome because that's a real freestyle. If this was 30 years ago. That's where they spitting from. You might have a punchline or you might have a go-to couple lines that if you need to reach in your bag, you got them. That's your go-to. That's your ace up your sleeve. But everything else, free-flowing off the top of the dome. And nowadays on these radio shows, they'll call it a freestyle, but really it's pre-written. And then they just basically rap the song they wrote down already on the show. Call it a freestyle, but that ain't a freestyle. I came from your dome piece and I was out there chasing dreams with my homies PTSD from shackle feet The whole hood buzzing like I'm giving out crack for free White boys bought my shit cause I actually Mmm, nah, oh, you saw that fire? This is fire Hold up The whole hood buzzing like I'm giving out crack for free Peace and I was out there chasing dreams with my homies PTSD from shackle feet The whole hood buzzing like I'm giving out crack for free White boys put my Oh, PTSD from shackled feet because he was in prison And the whole hood buzzing like I'm giving out crack for free So if you get, you, you know, you selling crack, you going to prison But the whole hood is buzzing because they getting high off of his music He's got everybody buzzing and talking about him when he drops music from shackle feet, the whole hood buzzing like I'm giving out crack for free. White boys bought my shit cause I actually got roots in this bitch like a massive tree. Everything you drop yeah. miss like roots in this bitch like a massive tree. You saw the mannerism? I like the mannerism too. Cause it was like he was a big ass tree that was blowing in the wind. And I ain't n all these people out here just blowing hot air. They trying to blow this tree down, but it's standing tall through all the wind. I like that. Hell yeah, I got roots in this bitch like a massive tree because trees have roots. But also, he's got roots in this hip-hop shit. He's rooted in it. So he knows the history, he knows the culture, and he's in it. But also, you got your family tree, and he's got family, my family roots. So Let's go, baby. Actually, got roots in this bitch like a massive tree. Everything you drop miss like Shaq from three. And you just bark a lot but wouldn't smack a flea. People... <laughs> <laughs> Everything you drop missed like Shaq from three. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know how many threes. <laughs> I don't know how many threes Shaq made in his career. It was like one or two, maybe. I don't know how many he attempted, but that dude, he couldn't even hit a free throw, let alone something from three point range. <laughs> But he could break some backboards though. Don't don't get it twisted. So that goes back to the beginning when he's saying everything he drops does numbers, but everything you drop, it's a miss. I hate to break it to you. And you bark a lot, but when a smack a flea. <laughs> Come on, dog, you bark a lot, and then bark is also tied into the tree. The roots in this bitch like a massive tree because trees have bark but also you barking a lot you running your mouth a lot but you wouldn't do nothing you're all talk all bark no bite wouldn't smack a flea matter of fact you are the flea 
You just an annoyance that's trying to bite me in my ass and I got to turn around and smack the dog shit out you. <laughs> I sit cause I actually got roots in this bitch like a massive tree. Everything you drop miss like Shaq from three. And you just bark a lot but wouldn't smack a flea. People say it's chess, not check as they can't play chess. I'll teach you how to win, move more, say less. I've been oh. a rapper always. It's chestnut checkers. It's chestnut checkers. Yes, sir. I'll teach you how to win. Move more. Say less. <laughs> Checkmate. I'll teach you how to win, but you need to say less. Stop running your mouth. You want to make some money? You want to become successful? You know, we could have linked up. We could have did some work together. But instead, you out here running your mouth. You should have been saying less and moving more. How about be out here and making moves instead of running your mouth worrying about me? If, if you need my help, you know, you could have just asked. If you, if you wanted me to help you, say less. I'm there. But instead, you're running your mouth, so you need to say less. Stop talking that talk. Shack from three, and you just bark a lot, but wouldn't smack a flea. People say it's chess, not checkers, they can't play chess. I'll teach you how to win, move more, say less. I've been a rapper, always be a rapper. You can never battle me, cause you can smack for trying to be a fucking rapper. I started from the bottom like the number in the fraction. And you just steady talking, I don't never see no action. Oh, nah. Oh, nah, he brought mathematics into it now, it's over. He brought this a whole different equation. <laughs> I started from the bottom like the number in a fraction because the fraction the, the fraction starts with the bottom number and he started from the bottom and built it up <sighs> come on <laughs> bro mathematics into it but always be a rapper you can never battle me cause you can smack for trying to be a fucking rapper I started from the bottom like the number in a fraction and you just steady talking I don't never see no action you ain't cut the same I could tell by your outfit and you don't pose a threat I stepped in bigger mouth shit Peter oh Piper, no oh no oh lord he called you a pipsqueak ha 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 Bro, <laughs> he stepped in bigger mouth shit. Ain't no way. Oh lord. And I worked in pest control, so I know how. Boy, <laughs> he said you you smaller than mouse doo doo. I worked in pest control, so I know how tiny that shit is. You smaller than a tic tac, boy. <laughs> That's crazy. You just got compared to mouse shit. Hey. Like the number in the fraction, and you just steady talking. I'll never see no action. You ain't cut the same, I can tell by your outfit, and you don't pose a threat. I stepped in bigger mouth shit. Mm. Nah, see, you ain't really about that life. We ain't cut from the same cloth. I could tell by your outfit. We are not the same. Don't try to compare us because you talk about it. I am about it. Ah, oh, sheesh. You ain't cut the same, I can tell by your outfit And you don't pose a threat, I stepped in bigger mouth shit Peter Piper picked the wrong pecker Would you play with the peck of a wordplay Put respect on my name, no. bitch Get ran through That P, 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 P Hold up, you know, nah, he switched the cadence up on me You hear that pocket he got into? He's ready to fire off Peter Piper picked the wrong peck of wood to play with Oh, he, the impeccable wordplay that he just packed into that one little pocket Yes, sir. In a fraction, and you just steady talking. I don't never see no action. You ain't cut the same, I can tell by your outfit, and you don't pose a threat. I stepped in bigger mouth shit. Peter Piper picked the wrong peck of wood to play with the peck of a word play. Put respect on my name, bitch. Get ran through like a train, bitch. I can leave the day, but you'll always be the same, bitch. Let it oh no, he compared. Oh no, he said you got ran through like a train. Oh no. <laughs> No, he didn't. Adam, that's a violation. Who's he talking about? Who is he talking to? Who pissed this man off? Bro, he just said you got ran through like a train. Ain't no way. You just violated him like that, Adam. Who is he talking about? I don't, th he, I don't think he's talking about Upchurch. Because if he was talking about Upchurch, he would be more direct. But I, I don't think he's talking about Ryan. Who is he talking about? That's crazy, man get ran through like a train because anything you put in front of a train on the tracks it's gonna run through it and if you get on a track with him he's gonna run through you like a train oh my god you know the trains be going through the tunnels they <laughs>
but some of these females out here be getting ran through like a train. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Get ran through like a train, bitch. I can leave the day, but you'll always be the same, bitch. Let it rain, I ain't talking about umbrellas. You ready for the rain, bitch? I'm talking about forever. Mmm, mm, nah. Get ready for the rain. I ain't talking about umbrellas under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A. Now, we ain't talking about the rain from the sky. He's talking about his rain at the top. Get ready for the rain. I'm talking about forever. I like that graphic, too, right there. Yeah, with the rainy glass, that's nice. Rain, I ain't talking about umbrellas. You're ready for the rain, bitch. I'm talking about forever. For better, for worse, I never this verse go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Self, self, self. For better, for worse, I never this verse go get in a hearse and kill yourself. Self, self, self. This ain't a diss track, I ain't even trying. You'd rather see me and Ryan kill each other like a pack of lions. Cause y'all just a circus, bunch of serpents. You'd rather see me lying. Yup, that's true. Everybody, all these people out here, there's a lot of them that would rather see him and Ryan kill each other like a pack of lions. Y'all want to see him and Upchurch beef and just go at it rather than actually come together and make some music. There's a lot of people like that because the drama, you know, it adds up for views. It gives them something to talk about. Uh-huh. Damn, that's true, man. That's fucked up, but it's true. Elf. This ain't a diss track, I ain't even trying You'd rather see me and Ryan kill each other like a pack of lions Cause y'all just a circus, bunch of serpents You'd rather see me lying, me lying That's a triple, go back and listen and I That's a triple, go back and listen So the lion, the pack of lions, we got the lions in the circus But you'd rather see him lying As in lying on the mic, everything he's saying but also lying six feet deep, dead, not breathing, just lying there. That's a triple. He ain't lying. Okay. Like a pack of lions, cause y'all just a circus, bunch of serpents. You'd rather see me lying, me lying. That's a triple. Go back and listen. And I ain't going back to prison. I woke up this morning, prayed to God and kissed my daughter. Another day of living. I'm fucking living. Some motherfuckers. Oh, will see, I like I like to see that right there. That's that's being a good parent, man. Yep. Got to start them young. Get them in. Get them cultured. Got that notorious that notorious B.I.G. shirt on. That's what's up, man. Respect. Serpents, you rather see me lying? Me lying. That's a triple. Go back and listen. And I ain't going back to prison. I woke up this morning, prayed to God and kissed my daughter. Another day of living. I'm fucking living. Some motherfuckers will never understand rap. Even if I hand it to you, wrote it down and ran it to you. What you gonna do if I actually ran it to you? Same dude talking shit get smacked and then sue you. Don't make me paint the town red like Subaru. I don't stretch the truth for views like you do. Oh. Mm. Now that got me hype. Ooh, I'm fired up now. Mm, who we fighting? Who we fighting, Adam? Let's go. Nah, that was... Oof, oh. I gotta get in the gym right now, yo. I gotta hit the heavy bag or something. That got me amped up. Let's go. Do that again. We'll never understand rap. Even if I hand it to you, wrote it down and ran it to you. What you gonna do if I actually ran it to you? Same dude talking shit get smacked and then sue you. Don't make me paint the town red like Subaru. I don't stretch the truth for views like you do. Oh. A couple... Mm, what you gonna do if I actually ran it to you? What the fuck are you gonna do? <sighs> you got a lot of people online to be talking shit. But when you pull up, they ain't really about that action. Mm, yeah. Oh, see, you got, got me all kinds. Don't make me paint the town red like Suwu. And you saw the bloody graphic there? Yeah, don't make me paint the town red. He's ready to go on a rampage. And it's going to rain blood. And Suwu is a signal for the Bloods gang when they see a crip. That was nasty, boy. That, that shit got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I understand rap. Even if I hand it to you, wrote it down and ran it to you. What you gonna do if I actually ran it to you? Same dude talking shit get smacked and then sue you. Don't make me paint the town red like Subaru. I don't stretch the truth for views like you do. A couple bitch ass reactors. I like to see a list of your top 10 rappers.
Is he talking about me? Nah, he ain't talking about me. <laughs> this is my first time reacting to one of his songs, so I know he ain't talking about me, but he talking about reactors. So, yeah, he ain't even talking about Up Church. I bet you there's a lot of people that say he is, though. But who's he talking about as far as reactors? Who's out here talking shit? Y'all know the reactors he's talking about? Y'all gotta let me know. I don't stretch the truth for views like you do. See? Exactly. Y'all would rather see him and Ryan go at it because it equates to views. And y'all out here stretching the truth, bugging, trying to get views. Ooh. A couple bitch-ass reactors. i like to see a list of your top ten rappers. If I'm on that shit... <laughs> I'm laughing. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. Y'all have been a rapper. Okay, I respect that. Hmm. I would like to see a list of your top 10 rappers. There's one white dude and the rest are all black men. The one white dude is Marshall Mathers. But the rest are all black men. And if he's on that, then he's laughing. So he doesn't think it's sincere when they say that. He thinks that maybe they're clout chasing. They're just trying to use his name for clickbait. Huh. I'm laughing. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. Y'all have been a rap, but we all been wrecking shit. Got a couple spots in that list like a freckle bitch. Chef's mm. kiss. <laughs> the freckle bitch. <laughs> so <laughs> so y'all invented rap. He's recognizing that. But we got a couple spots in that bitch. We we been wrecking shit too. Y'all invented rap, but we been wrecking shit. Got a couple spots in that list like a freckle bitch because you got the spots on your face like freckles. But he's acknowledging that there are some white dudes out here who can spit. They can get busy too. And he's one of them. And he's acknowledging that, you know, there, there's actually other white rappers that can get busy besides Eminem. And shout out to Paul Wall, the OG. Huh. I like it, man. I like this. I'm laughing. There's one white dude and the rest are black men. Y'all have been a rap, but we all been wrecking shit. Got a couple spots in that list like a freckle bitch. Chef's kiss. I never thought I'd live to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince. I can only oh, hate nah. one man. <laughs> Bro, they ain't never gonna let Chris Rock live that down. <laughs> I never thought I lived to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince because of the Fresh Hand Prince. He got smacked by the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. <laughs> I never thought about it like that, Fresh Prince. But you know, that I never thought I would see that day either. What's crazy about it is Chris Rock is my favorite comedian and Will Smith is my favorite actor. So imagine how mind blown I was when I saw that. I thought it was fake. I never thought I'd live to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince. I can only hate one man. Yes, sir. And I leave him leaking on the street. Freshman, red shirt. And it ain't Ryan Edward. Right there. Right there. So this ain't even about Ryan. He just told you. And it ain't Ryan Edward. Yup. And I bet there is a lot of people who say that he's talking about Upchurch in this one. But if you're saying that, then you haven't been paying attention to a damn thing he's just been talking about. Matter of fact, you are the ones that he's been talking about. And it ain't Ryan Edward. Ryan Edward is Upchurch's real name. But it also, the way he says it, the way he pronounced that Ryan Edward, it sounded like Ryan N-word. And I could be reaching, but that's just how it sounded. And it makes sense because Ryan Upchurch has been known to use the N-word in some of his songs. And some people get a little bit in an uproar about it. And he used it on that Y Boys diss track. And there was also some people upset about it then too. Like a freckle bitch, chef's kiss. I never thought I'd live to see the day Chris Rock got smacked by Fresh Prince. I can only hate one man. Yes, sir. And I leave him leaking on the street. Freshman, red shirt. Mm -hmm. I can only hate one man. And I leave him leaking on the street like a freshman, red shirt. And red shirt freshman, that's in college sports. They become a freshman red shirt. Because they're not ready for the big, they're not ready to step up in competition. They're not ready for the big dogs yet. So they got that red shirt freshman. And Adam's letting them know, you ain't ready for the big dogs. Don't try me. 
You ain't ready for this big dog. Uh-uh, you ain't about it. But he's going to leave him leaking on the street. It's not just red shirt freshman. You got some blood on your shirt, so it's red too. Yes, sir. And I leave him leaking on the street freshman red shirt. And it ain't Ryan Edward. Motherfuckers run their mouth so much it makes my head hurt. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that got me hyped up. Yo, Adam killed that. He was in his bag. Nah, that was fire. I don't care what anyone says. Yo, Adam Calhoun shook one's remix. He did that beat justice. He came with it. He he knew if he was getting on there, he had to come with it and he did. Damn, son. I need to go and listen. I'm ready to listen to this again. Shout out Adam Calhoun, A Cal, did your thing. Woo, dog, no, that got me hyped up, dog, man. I love that. I love the flow switches. I love the graphics with the we got the blood on the glass. We got the bullet hole, all that. He man, he had the props ready like he was carrot top. You saw that? He had the chest piece. <laughs> he had the pen out there that was nice I, there's some questions i have like who was what was holding the mic up was shaquille o'neal out there holding the mic just draping it in front of the camera <laughs> but i love that this is done right at his driveway he was right next to the woods i felt like at one point bigfoot was gonna wander out of the woods with his hat on backwards ready to just drop some sasquatch bars in there all the people out there hunting him Oh, man, this was dope. I'm ready to listen to more Adam Calhoun. And trust me, just because, you know, we listening to Adam doesn't mean we aren't going to listen to Up Church. It doesn't mean I'm not going to listen to Tom. It doesn't mean any of that because I'm here for good music. And I'm going to be checking out all those cats because I'm here for good music. Now, shout out, Adam. That was what's up, dog. I really enjoyed that. And I'm going I'm to throw this on in the gym. You better believe it. When I'm doing MMA or anything, this got me pumped. And shout out to y'all. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with your boy. It means a lot. If y'all got any requests, any other Adam Calhoun or any other artist you want me to check out, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all be easy, never greasy. It's your boy Snake Venom S to the VZ. Peace.